Hey guys, it's Audra and welcome back to 365 Projects. This is the beginning of the Library-a-thon vlog. It is 3 o'clock on day 2 of the Readathon, and I am just sharing my TBR, but I'm also getting started on reading. I did read like two pages, so I'm on like page 10 of this one, and then I fell asleep and took a nap, and I'm not going to be mad about it. So um, I'm going to the grocery store to get stuff to make a dinner tonight. Um, we're going to do Captain Crunch chicken broccoli salad, and then zucchini and squash. Gonna make some food, listen to an audiobook. I think I may start with The Sun is Also a Star on audio. The other one I have on audio is Little Paris Bookshop. So I think I'm gonna start with this one because it may be the quickest. My thought with these is I can kind of listen to the audiobook, and then when I can actually do reading, I can read it from the book and kind of mix and match until I finish a whole book. Because I want to do well on this readathon to like kick off the summer, get going, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to the event to see um, Lisa Ko tonight at the library and hear her talk about her book. And hopefully I'll have some clips to share with you on that one as well. So talk to you later. Hey guys, it's the morning of day three of Libraryathon and obviously um, looking a little rough. So the dog and I have already walked a mile. We've made breakfast. We'll walk another one here in another couple hours. We do this three times a day, so he gets adjusted to apartment dog life. But anyways, um, went to the library event last night and I enjoyed it. It was about 15 minutes of her talking about the book and about immigrants being separated from their children and all the research she's done. And that's kind of like the basis of her book. So this is the leaders I'm talking about. And um, so then the next 15 minutes she read from her book from the two different perspectives and then there was like a half an hour questions and then she quickly signed the books. So it was an okay event. I had a good time. It was my first one in the city and I'm excited to go to more. And here is the little signature to me. So I'm excited to have that. I definitely need to dig into more of that this week. Um, other than that, like progress wise, I have listened to like a little over two hours of The Sun is Also a Star, which pushes me at page 100, actually, and I'm really enjoying this. This is super, super cute. It's about a Korean American boy and how he's kind of like in his brother's shadow and he's wanting to go to Yale instead of Harvard and he has long hair and um, he crosses paths with another girl who is Jamaican and she's actually an immigrant that's being deported and like they it's kind of like their love story in a day I guess and so I am absolutely loving this and it's a super quick one um, but last night at the library I guess I kind of picked up some more books I picked up written in the stars which is the one I'm going to read for the first challenge which was a book in a country that you have not read of before and this is one of Saja's favorites I also um, picked up I saw this on the new shelf the Secret Lives of the Amir Sisters by Nadia Hussein, and it just looks super cute. Um, and it says it's a heartwarming read about sisters and a family, and it is written in own voices, so that's exciting. And then I also picked up another book on hold, and that's The Extraordinary Life of Sam Hell. This was um, recommended to me by a friend that is an avid reader, and so it's a chunker, but I've heard nothing but great things about it, so I'd want to get to that soon, but obviously not this week. So the plan for the day is, there is no plan, it is summer. And I have nothing going on today, either like yesterday I had everything going on. And there are days like today, which there's just nothing going on. So I'm gonna do a lot of reading, a lot of hanging out with the dog, um, just kind of getting the place a little bit more settled, I guess. So this morning I'm going to dig in and hopefully finish in real life so I can knock my first book off the TBR list for this week. So I will check back in in a little bit. Brady, hey, Brady. Brady, dude, you ready to do some reading? What do you think? It's nap time for him. Let's get to reading. So In Real Life is the book that I chose for Outside My Comfort Zone because it's about video games. It is also a graphic novel, um, but going to the introduction, it starts off saying that it's about games and economics. So add economics to the list of things that's outside my comfort zone. Um, it's basically saying it's about behavioral economics 
And up here, the hard questions about how we end up with the stuff we own, what costs our human brothers and sisters to make these goods, and why we think we need them. So this is gonna be a little deeper than I thought, which is obviously outside my comfort zone. So I just need to get it done, basically. I hope that I enjoy it, but we shall see. All right, 40 minutes later and I have finished in real life. So that's one knocked off the list for this week. It was great, but I honestly have no idea what I just read about. Um, it's about a girl that plays this game and like she becomes the character. She meets this like gold farmer from China and finds out like he's struggling in real life with medical insurance and so she's helping him like form a protest or something. It didn't, <laughs> I'm didn't really follow I, I don't know um so obviously not my thing I think I'm gonna give it a two star and it, <laughs> move on to other stuff so might take a break from reading watch a little bit of tv and come back later with another update We just got back from our second walk on the day and we're both totally exhausted. So I'm gonna take advantage of him chilling out and take a bubble bath and relax. And I'm gonna read some of the levers. So the bubble bath I'm actually going to do is um, from a Las Vegas souvenir. And we went to my first ever Lush bar. And so I'm gonna use this guy. It's like a citrusy, it smells amazing. Like my entire bag smelled like it but it's supposed to like bubble and foam and stuff. So I'm gonna use that, but I thought I would show you some other souvenirs I got cause I didn't get many at all. So the main thing I went to look for was these little cheesy t-shirts. I don't know if I can, that say someone who loves me went to Vegas and bought me this shirt for my nieces. When I was little, my aunt went and got one in Hawaii that was like this for me and so, I have twin nieces, so there's two of them, so that was expensive. But then the only other thing I bought was a coffee mug, cause like I need any more. But um, it was a Starbucks one, so not even that authentic. But they have these cute city mugs, and this is the Las Vegas one. So I'm excited to have this to my collection. I need to buy the Kansas City one, cause I said I wasn't gonna buy it until I actually lived here, and now that I live here, I need another mug to go with this one, and yeah, I don't know if I'll collect any more. We'll see. But anyways, I'm going to get to the bubble bath and update you later. Not as anticlimactic as I thought. Um, that's a lot of orange and a lot of bubbles. So if you can't tell, it is now the next morning. So it's day four of library -athon. Anybody else just love how they look a hot mess in vlogs, but like when they do like actual videos, like you have your stuff together. But whatever, this is this is real life, I guess. So yesterday I didn't show any more and that was like at noon, but I did read like 20 more pages of the levers. So I'm on page 69 of this one. And then we went to Red Robin because teachers got a free burger and um, free food with moving expenses, yes please. So, um, didn't share any more yesterday. We also watched America's Got Talent. And so uh, today, the dog and I, he's back there chilling, have already gone on a walk. We made breakfast. And so now I'm just gonna settle in for the day. I think I have to kennel him again. Um, I'm going out of town for a teacher conference, a one day teacher conference. And so I've gotta find out what to do with him. But anyways, while I was doing breakfast and while we were doing the walk, I listened to more of The Sun Is Also A Star and I just now made it over halfway through. I only have like three hours and 45 minutes left of the audiobook. So I think the game plan for today is going to be to finish this one during the day before I hit the road. I'm just an hour away. I'm going to download the audio version of The Little Paris Bookshop so I can listen to that as well and read more of the levers, I think is where I'm at with that. I really want to start this. I don't know how I'm gonna fit it in, but I need to do that, as well as at some point stop by the library and ask a librarian what their favorite book is, because I didn't get that done the other night um, when I went to the library then. So I will check in throughout the day, hopefully, of what I'm up to, how reading is going. It is now four o'clock, and I just finished listening to the audiobook of The Sun Is Also A Star. 
Ugh. I have a feeling I'm going to be gushing about this one for a really long time. I just loved everything about it. The relationship, of course, was a little cheesy, but I mean, it was just perfection. The two points of views, the fact that it was in the course of a day. Nicola Yoon is just amazing. That's all there is to it. And then the audiobook itself, I downloaded from Overdrive, so that's why it's a library book. Um, it had my favorite narrator, Bonnie Turpin, on it. So it was just overall a fantastic experience. And so I'm very excited to give this five stars because the last one I finished for the readathon was a two star book. So moving on, I guess, um, I have downloaded the Little Paris Bookshop from Overdrive also from the library. So I'll listen to this as I get on the road um, to go to a teacher conference for tomorrow. And um, before I do that, though, internet guy is coming to set things up. I said it could be three hours, which is ridiculous, but hopefully it doesn't take that long. But in the case of which I do some reading while that person is here, I think I'm going to pick up Written in the Stars, just kind of a lighter read maybe. But I just watched a video from Sajid today saying that it was like very abuse centered, um, a lot of trigger warnings, so it may not be as light as I thought. But maybe just content wise, it'll be a little bit easier of a read than the Leavers for while I have a random stranger in my house. Um, but anyways, I need to get all three of those books, The Leavers, Little Paris Bookshop, and Written in the Stars done for sure this week because next week I'm going to do Cramathon and I don't want to like drag other books over. I want to do a completely new TBR because, you know, why not? So anyways, I'm going to work on a closet project. Um, and just kind of fill fart around the house while the internet guy is here and hopefully get some rain done. So check in later. And because I know you're so curious, here's the closet project. It was just hanging up these two things here. So like my t-shirts don't hang all the way down here. They were all covering this bottom row of shirts. Couldn't get to it. It was driving me insane. So I just hung up these organizers from Target and split up my t-shirts into like, uh, we have my old school here and then sports shirts breast cancer, spiritual shirts, generic teacher shirts, book and librarian shirts, and then random stuff. So yeah, exciting stuff I know, but welcome to my life. So I only got like three chapters into Written in the Stars with the internet guy here, which is fine, whatever. But I'm getting on the road to go to Lawrence, and so I'm going to listen to the little Paris bookshop and yeah, hang out with a family friend and then my mom. Um, hang out with her for the night and all day tomorrow and do some librarian teacher stuff. So I will talk to you guys later. It is now the evening of night five. And you guessed it, we just got back from a walk. He's pooped. Um, so basically, it's been over 24 hours since I've shared anything. I've just been doing teacher stuff. I met my mom for a conference and um, always good to see her. I miss her, even though I've only it's only been a couple weeks before I moved from my hometown and moved to the big city. But um, yeah, uh, we went to the conference. I came back here. I met a whole bunch of the new library squad that I'll be working with, and we went to dinner, and it was a lot of fun working with a lot of great people, and I'm super excited about it. But anyways, the book update is that when I went on that little road trip, I started this, and... Although I've heard great things about the book, the audiobook, I didn't make it past five minutes. Like the narrator had this weird accented voice to go with the fact that it's in Paris, I guess. Um, but like he also did like a female voice instead of them having a different person do that voice. And so it was, I, I just didn't like it. So instead I started a different book and that's one that's been on my TBR for a while called Autoboyography by Christine Lauren. And so this is obviously the one that is counting for a book about a book or bookish stuff. And so this book is about a teenager that is in the seminar of writing a whole entire novel in the course of four months after this class. And he is bisexual and um, like half Jewish. And then his mom was LDS. Those are... There's a lot of Mormon characters, but not him, um, throughout this book. And so, so far I'm really enjoying it. I'm about an hour and a half in, and I have seven hours and 45 minutes left. So I'm going to speed that one up so I can get through it before the end of the readathon, and then get to the other books. So, 
It is not even nine o'clock yet, and honestly, I will probably be headed to bed soon. Um, if I do any reading, I'll let you know, but I am just exhausted. So I will check in later, I guess, with an update. It is now the last day library thon. It is Saturday, and it's already been a full day. It's 5.30 in the evening. It's been a long 24 hours. The dog was sick all night, and so had to help him feel better during the middle of the night and ran to Walmart to get some like medicine and stuff for him. And then this morning we went to the farmer's market and then I finally got a couch for my apartment and we're gonna go on a WALK with the dog here in a minute after my boyfriend gets back from a run. And so yeah, I'm not sure like reading wise if I'll do any today. It might just be like before bed or if I can't sleep and all that kind of stuff, we'll see. But I may just be checking in next time for a final wrap up at library -a -thon. It's been fun and getting ready for a cram -a -thon this next week. So I will talk to you guys later. We are here for the wrap up. And so I'm going to show you the books that I finished first and talk about like the ratings and stuff and then kind of go through each challenge and tell you which books I'm going to continue to finish and which books I might abandon and all that good stuff. So the first book that I read that you saw me not enjoy was In Real Life. This was a two and a half star maybe if I can give it that. I read this in 45 minutes. I honestly don't remember much about it. It is a graphic novel um, basically about online video games and role playing. Um, yeah, just wasn't too impressed with that one. That was the book that was outside of my comfort zone. And then the other one that was completely on the opposite side, which I absolutely loved and gave five stars, was The Sun is Also a Star um, by Nicola Yoon. I cannot recommend this one enough. This is a beautifully written story about two different families, basically. You have, I think it's a Korean-American family that is kind of here in America making a name for their family, wanting to raise their children to send to medical school. And then you have a family that's getting deported back to Jamaica. And it's how these two kids like meet up on the last day before she leaves. And their love story and their only day of meeting each other. And it is just phenomenal. And the epilogue, ugh. It, it just, it was like probably the best, why a love story that I've read in a while and it only took course in a day for the most part so cannot recommend this one enough this one was for a book that I've been meaning to read because it has been on my TBR for a while and I finally just got to it so kind of backpedaling and going through the different challenges the first challenge was to read a book from a different country and I had picked written in the stars um, this is one of Sajid's favorite books and I only got about that far in it's maybe like a third of the way actually and it's a really fast-paced read I am enjoying it so far I think I'm starting to like finally get to the meat of the book so basically this is about a girl named Nyla I think and she is Pakistan American and she um, has a boyfriend at school that she's not supposed to have because her parents want to arrange her marriage and all that stuff and so Instead of just like grounding her like a normal family would, they find out that she's been dating this boy and so they take her back to Pakistan for a month. And I'm starting to get the vibe that they are kind of going to be creating her path for her, whether she likes it or not. And she hasn't quite realized it yet in the spot that I'm at, but I'm realizing it and I think that this is going to be kind of hard hitting. I know I have not reached the parts about abuse. So I know there's a whole bunch of triggers for that. This is one that I'm going to finish. I'm not going to finish this next week because I am doing Cramathon and have other reads for that TBR, but I'm excited to um, finish this one maybe in a couple weeks. The next one was a book that I'd never heard of, and I talked a lot about The Leavers because I went and uh, met the author, listened to her speak. I am, once again, probably, I don't know, a fifth of the way, a fourth of the way through this one. Um, once again, about immigrants. I feel like all of my books for this week were about immigrants, and they're all so fantastic. This is another one that even though it is a lengthy adult read with um, some hard-hitting topics, I'm definitely going to finish. It's just going to take me a while to do so. Um, so this is about a boy whose name is Demi, and his mom is Polly, I believe was her name. And she's an undocumented Chinese immigrant, and basically she um, is 
missing all of a sudden. One day she doesn't return from work and Deming gets put into an adoptive home and he's kind of growing up and then all of a sudden his mom wants to see him again and so it's kind of their story. That's the part where I'm at and um, it is a award winner. So actually it was an interesting conversation to listen to her talk about how her book got published because she won an award. I think it was the Belfast Award, something like that. She won that award and that caused them to print it and that's why she has her first book published and I'm excited to finish that. So that's what I'm going to finish. The third challenge was outside a comfort zone. We talked about this and I wish I wouldn't have spent the time on it even though it was only 45 minutes. Fourth challenge was a book I've been meaning to read. Finish that one. The book recommended, number five was a book recommended by a librarian. I did not get that one done. I didn't even have time to ask a librarian and so I kind of have passed on that one. And then the sixth and final challenge was to read a bookish book. And for the first part of that, I chose Little Paris Bookshop. But um, the audiobook was awful, and so I abandoned it and traded it in for the audiobook of Autobiography by Christina Lauren, I believe. And I am loving, loving, loving that one. And so it's another one that I'm going to continue to read and not DNF. I'm going to finish it up next week. And so I have three books that I'm actually going to finish and probably have those for you at the end of the month of my June wrap-up to tell you what I thought overall. So I'm kind of thrilled about that because normally there's a lot of times at readathons that I don't finish the books and I kind of abandon. And so that didn't happen this time. So I had two books I read. One book I guess I did abandon this one. And then the three that I'm going to finish. So it was a successful readathon for the most part. I just wish I would have gotten some more reading done. It's just hard to do in the middle of a move and all that kind of stuff. And so yeah. That's all I have for this vlog and for this wrap-up. Please let me know how your week went, if you participate in library Library-a-thon, or if you want to do so next year. So um, sound off down below, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye, guys.